I do find it kind of interesting. Uh, it, it is NFT based, but uh, I, I don't think it has to be. This <laughs> uh, this idea of I think BitClout it's called or whatever. <laughs> Uh, the idea of sort of investing in individuals, it makes me immediately think about investing in ideas. So even just the words you speak having value um, and sort of if you have a frictionless, like automated financial system, then you could do a bunch of interesting things about what it means to add value to the world. I mean, I don't know if BitCloud is currently an efficient representation of that, um, but I am truly happy that <laughs> however that thing works, I'm just one notch above Vladimir Putin, which is one of the, that's like one of the bucket list items for me to, to have a list where I'm one notch above Putin. Well, what I think you're talking about here is important because there's uh, historical examples. You could invest in a patent in some situations. Mm -hmm. You could invest in an organization that has an idea, right? So these are super inefficient given kind of the, the vision that you're painting in terms of like investing directly in an idea in a super efficient automated fashion. Yeah. But that's how the technology evolution works, right? Is it's really hard to do at first and then it slowly kind of becomes easier and easier as technology uh, is more prevalent. The other thing that I think is interesting is this whole idea of investing in people. If you really think about the origination of that is I would hire somebody. Right. right. I pay you money and then you're going to create production, sure. but I take the lion's share and you don't. Now there's things like uh, these uh, ISAs, these income sharing agreements, where basically I will educate you on something, train you on something. Uh, I'll put up capital. Right. And then over time, you'll pay me back plus profits as some version. Eventually, I don't know what it looks like, but being able to get upside in somebody's success for having risk capital early on doesn't seem that far off. Mm -hmm. You see it in professional sports, you see it in you know a lot of these things. And so I just think that a lot of um, the focus right now is on the technology, but ultimately these are ideas that are very old and have had lots of success and traction. And we're just merely standing in the way of the evolution of these ideas with new technology. And so uh, it's easy to get caught up in the technology, but when you really zoom out and look at it from the ideological standpoint and kind of the, the progress of humanity, it's a foregone conclusion this stuff's gonna happen. It's yeah, just how. I, I think the world is waiting and some of us are trying to create that future world, which is like, what are the applications of this technology that will transform the world? And then, you know, I hate the term, but killer apps, like cool ideas that are implemented effectively at scale that transform the world. And there's been a, there's been a lot of different ideas popping up. Like the there's a lot of ideas about social networks that are built on top of the technology and all that kind of stuff. 